Hello, Capricorns. Well, I have some energy here that I just wanted to play with a couple decks. And <clears throat> I will let you know that we're going to just jump right in because I have some cards coming out with energy already. I'm going to call it Lap Reading Day, let me tell you. Okay. So, you see how they, this moon cycle is here with two crescent moons in the center moon. <clears throat> now, I believe that this type of a symbol must mean something for you Capricorns. Um, in some type of a way, one, two, three type of a way, one, two, three with the dolphin, and this in the middle, dolphin, this, this, this card. There's this, this, this. And then, still, more moon cycles. Then over here, we have this, this, this. And then it's like, High Priestess card. I don't know whether to go like this, this, or this, or the opposite. But, <clears throat> okay. So, besides all them insane synchronicities, I do know that when you Google what that means, just those two crescent moons and the center moon mean something. <clears throat> I'm getting an energy to, for you to focus on your intuition, like, hugely. Something that I never, ever got in a high priestess energy, ever. So, something must be happening. Um, I mean, all I was doing was trying to help myself and my anxiety, and I was holding on to some selenite and holding it on my temples and trying to just push my crystals around, and then I did grab a fucking bracelet that might have helped after I had posted that I was going to clear some negative energy and I wanted to clear it with everyone. And I had grabbed this bracelet. And it's not one that I wear, but if you can see it, it, it used to be called something crazy. I cannot remember what it was called, but there are these symbols on it, like some type of a dragon something, like maybe it was called something dragon. But these are like, I don't know what these mean, but look at this, okay? I'm gonna have to really do some research. It must mean some type of protection, okay? <clears throat> and, like, dispelling negativity because it's absolutely what happened. Are you ready for the, the bombness to this? <clears throat> the center of our stomach is our sacral chakra, which is the yellow color, okay? It is your third base chakra out of seven. That would be the circle and the center that would be between the two crescent moon cycles, okay? Now, that is what I am serious. Okay, your main energy is these two cards right here, okay? And I'm doing two card energies, so, because that is how it's coming out, which is powerful. This is you, Capricorn. Whether you are king or queen, you're coming out as the king of pentacles. But your current energy is the universe telling you, start freaking, like, saging more often. Start using some Santa Paulo. Start lighting candles for some peace and joy. Start listening to some flute music. Japanese flute music is what I'm getting, okay? Now that I just seen either Chinese or Japanese language on that freaking bracelet, it is making me look at whatever she has in her hand, which I believe is some type of a flute. And if it's not, then, then I have no idea what it is, okay? <clears throat> but totally crazy that, okay? I'm getting a connection to the confidence that maybe someone could be lacking or is gaining. Okay, I'm not sure. I can't get that yet. I think someone is gaining confidence. That is more the pull than, than it being a negative one whatsoever here. Um, but there is still a medium that's stopping me. Like, there is some type of a healing that needs to happen. So, do you see how there's the eye that's in between them? Just like I would say, how I would do just described it as the center now a sacral chakra you would help heal it or open it or unblock it your confidence your your gut release things that get stored up in our energy in our positive energy like negative energy it will stay in your gut it will give you gut digestive problems it will affect you physically mentally in all ways okay so do you see how in the middle of these two okay i'm getting the mess okay we saw 444 four, four. yes as i see a fucking protection eye are you kidding me okay i think that you're very very hmm what is it called purple flame 
third eye activation mode. Um, I feel like somebody either has their third eye wide open and they can see clearly and trust their intuition very clearly right now if it is unblocked. Um, now citrine also, okay, it's yellow, like sun energy. Um, citrine is also the color of the, the solar plexus, the third chakra the chakra of confidence, creativity, um, you know, everything, balance, like, I mean, I don't know, how do I want to say this, if, if your sacral chakra is blocked or imbalanced right now, unbalanced, out of balance, however you want to call it, then you're not able to read things correctly, like, you're not able to tap into your intuition as quickly as you would probably like to, um, I'm getting an energy of Capricorn 555. It's time for a change and it's time for some healing. I think you need to trust yourself more, trust your intuition. You see how in the picture of the King of Pentacles, you kind of look like sketchy. Like, you know, I kind of felt that gut feeling, but what did it say to me? And that's kind of the message that I'm getting here. But, okay. Are you ready for what this is clarified by, by a third card? page of cups comes in this is innocent childlike energy and the universe's message here is telling you to tap into your childlike confidence the way that you used to think without fear react without fear make decisions without fear read your intuition without fear like man you were just there were never any no's it was just go 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 when we were a kid you know we had confidence, we had creativity, we had imagination, we had things that were lacking more now as an adult. And back then, we probably had such a stronger intuition because we had such confidence. Like, kids can be just so highly intuitive and creative and, I don't know, they're just so smart. They haven't even been damaged really yet, okay? Not, not this young. I mean, at least I would hope. <clears throat> but this is... A part of what I'm getting is that you need to heal some type of an inner child wound here Capricorn tap into your inner child and think like a child again think like a child with creativity and confidence and make decisions that are not confusing or making you unsure of what you're feeling whether it be fear or confidence like or is it a yes or is it a no you know like that's where you're confused because there's some type of a maybe a blockage but I don't see like a full blockage I see healing happening okay I see innocence coming back I don't know if someone's got some energy coming in here to where they're going back and they're either thinking about childhood or someone has some memories <clears throat> um Maybe you're thinking of how you used to decorate things when you were a kid or how free you used to feel or how quick you could make a decision without it being a stressful one. I'm going to move on though from that energy because, okay, look, there's a crescent moon. There's a crescent moon on that cup. Crescent moons are being of suns. <clears throat> um, all right, all I know is that think and be kind. Okay, think with your childlike creativity have confidence like a child make decisions that are just like how do I want to say this kind of like a water sign and this is water energy they're very how do I want to say it they have imagination water signs they live by love not hate they live by I hate to say it by oblivious to harm stress and death and they're more on the lighter side of things, not the serious side like us Capricorns are. So I would say this is also giving me the energy of lighten up a little bit, Capricorns. I think that if you have more love and light in your life, from what I'm getting right now, is you will be able to read that intuition like no other as long as you start to put some self-love into yourself, some healing. Um... So tap back into happier days, okay? Memories, nostalgia, innocence, your innocence. <clears throat> your next energy here. Are you ready for this bomb energy? This is what your fucking base of your situation is. This is the main focus of the whole situation. Now, at first, when this came out, I thought, okay, 
we're just going to have a very sexy, attractive, new beginning here or creative one because wands are fire energy. So they're Sag Leo Aries. Again, Sagittarius, I think, is the uh, High Priestess card and um, we have Sag energy coming out again. <clears throat> 10, 10. Seen that number all day, took screenshots and all. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, so the Ace of Wands... I thought that maybe you are going to start attracting a lot of things, okay, and you are. You're not just going to attract what I thought was going to be, like, you know, maybe I would say just a sexual connection, a physical connection with someone, like, fun, fun in the bedroom, um, you know, with someone, Ace of Wands, New Beginning, that is passionate, fiery, um, you know, you two obviously would want each other, and with that card came out the fucking magician if i have anything to say about anything you have the power to do whatever you freaking want capricorn this is your main energy your main energy is you're going to have a brand new beginning that is going to be fiery sexy getting creative um taking your power back getting your magic back being able 11 11 yes getting your magic back at 11 11 are you kidding me that's some wish fulfillment and that's some manifesting magician energy you have all the tools capricorn to do anything that you want in your life so stop holding yourself back from the magic that is within is where i'm getting um too much magic is going on like too much inside of you that is maybe that is what's happening you have so much magic and so much energy that's like stirring up and it's just building and building and building in your solar plexus that is where we store energy. It is dying to let its light out. It's dying to freaking, it's, it's ready to explode is what I want to say. It's going to explode into magic and stardust and energy that's just going to start to flow like that. <clears throat> like when you drop fucking a bottle of glitter that you're playing with crafts and then it goes all over the place and you're like, oh, that's gorgeous stuff, okay. Or <clears throat> like there's, I don't know how to say it besides... That's what's happening. The magic is happening and it is, you've maybe held it in so long, it's coming out whether you like it or not because we're the wise goat. So the magician, it's, I don't, it's not Hierophant Taurus energy, but it is, it's Virgo and Gemini energy. So it still has earth energy and it, it still has the knowledge and the wisdom and the guidance to have all the tools and everything that you need. You can make the money you want. You can have the creative job or partner that you want um you can go after your passions you can be attractive you have all the tools on the planet okay you have the cups of love you can be the most attractive person and attract friends and relationships um <clears throat> and if you have you know the sword as well because you have all four tools here the sword is like, you know what, I can speak my truth, I can speak it lovingly, or I can speak it how I need to speak it with fucking balls, like a Capricorn, like the goat, I don't give a fuck, I'm saying it like it is. So, with all of that being said, okay, and then it, speaking your truth and being able to think clearly instead of chaotically, you may have like this new clear mindset. All I have to say is unblock that freaking solar plexus or go play some frequency music or seriously start tapping into that childlike energy. You're going to just, just die once I get to just, just the one. I can't wait to get to the Virgo. Okay. The Hermit card. I can't wait. Just, just wait guys. <clears throat> and then we'll get to more after that. But okay. What came out together? Okay. What first was the strength card and then the two of swords again, this is in your past, okay? So I would assume here, obviously, in the past, you did not have the strength to make decisions, okay? Just like right here, maybe you did not have the power at one point in time, or you're not using your potential. You're not using your highest potential. 11-11, you're not doing the things that you know, like, like there is so many things for your highest good and you have fear or something that is holding that all in, blocking the confidence, blocking the creativity, blocking this all from from manifesting <clears throat> all i have to say is it's going to blow up whether you like it or not it's going to explode um your magic is unstoppable is what i'm feeling and the fact that your past showed up here that you have had difficulty on being stuck on dis decision making when it came to thinking clearly whether you had too much stress um 144 to make those i'm sorry 1444 divinely protected so Look, the meaning of this card is that you're divinely protected. 
for as long as you need to be protected while you take your time making logical, smart decisions, okay? So in the past, you were not able to make those decisions clearly and quickly. You came, you, you were stuck. You became stuck on the decisions and maybe your reality was distorted or trauma or stress or whatever it was always had you too stuck or you just never actually went for your goals or anything. You didn't have the strength. Now you have the strength and the clarity and all the tools and the magic to make this happen. You have more of that Leo energy. And I told you, are you ready for this shit? The fact that that Leo energy is here, that <clears throat> that freaking energy, okay? You can get orange and yellow, I would put together, okay? Get red, orange, and yellow, okay? Make this some powerful healing, unblocking chakra stuff, Okay? unblock your roots, unblock your passion, your sexuality, and your creativity, and your confidence, okay? We're going all out. So with this strength card, number eight is abundance. We have, you know, the infinity sign just on that card, number eight, and then number eight. I would say that strength card is definitely clarifying that, okay? The momentum, it's gaining momentum inside of that intuition of yours, Capricorn. And that childlike confidence is going to blow. I mean, the suns that are everywhere, these suns that I see, the moons, it's either a sun or it's a moon or it's an eye or it's a crescent moon or it's something. It, it's so much energy. It's like serious manifestation happening and serious solar plexus confidence that's going to just break out of you whether you like it or not. Maybe this is time for that, like, comeback, Capricorn. You've been in, like, a difficult energy. We all have... Uh, we do have, you know, Pluto, I think, going to hit us again, or however that resonates, whether it's Pluto or Jupiter. I'm sorry if I get that wrong. I know that I'm absolutely right on just those two. Um, so if I were to give you an A or B, pick A or B as your answer, you know, you're either going to be right or you're going to be wrong. It's going to be Pluto or it's going to be Jupiter. But it will hit us, you know, that one more time before all of that shit clears out for us. Um, for years, for years, 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 and years and years. So with that being said... You are going to step into your strength and your power, magic power, man. And let's talk about how these two cards have never come out together in a reading. And I don't play with this deck often, and I have been. And these look so similar, but talk about what we just discussed. What did we discuss, Capricorns? That you need to tap back into the childlike energy and the confidence and the way that you used to say yes so easily or you were able to see through things so easily, you know, or you didn't overthink things. You were able to just go, do it, say yes. And you want to be able to read your intuition like that. You want it to be con you want to be confident like that. You want to the high priestess is is someone who is wise and powerful and beautiful and elegant and people come to her for advice and and know how strong she is and how feminine and powerful she is and if you're going to tap back into this energy, look at this. The fact that the temperance card had came out first and then the hermit card, look at how there is this inner childlike energy going into adult energy. Now, this just screamed that someone had to go into hermit mode <clears throat> to find their power again, okay? To tap into these potentials, okay? Hermit mode, once you go into it, you know, you go back into that childlike energy, you go back into finding the magic within and finally see the light that's going to implode. Then you become strong enough to come out of the hermit crab shell, the cave, of being in that hermit crab energy of hiding, hiding your talent, hiding your confidence, hiding your love and light that needs to be spread wildly like freaking beautiful flames of stardust and fire, okay? And then you are going to turn and blossom into this beautiful woman or king, however that woman man king queen however that resonates and you are finally going to have this balance after this hermit card virgo energy after you meditate you contemplate you know you get your power back your your intuition comes back then you're like you know what i have that balance i'm rooted i have all three of my chakras unblocked now now i can maybe think a little bit clearly make calmer decisions not be so all over the place in my head like a freaking pinball machine <clears throat> maybe have now moments of dolphin energy childlike laughter joy abundance 
And now this balance and this grounded energy is just going to make you have so much growth, so much transformation and joy. And you're going to start to, you know, attract beautiful things and beautiful energy and healing energy. <clears throat> and then let's continue. Okay, now I've been pulling from the bottom and the top, so let's keep going. We have the death card. We have number 13 and at the bottom. Okay, great. <clears throat> Honestly, it is great. Hold on. Where is the freaking drink when you need one? I cannot take it. <clears throat> 2.5, guys. 2.5. Hopefully that helps me out. Alright, so this is some crazier energy. This is crazy. Two major arcanas came out together that are both what I told you would happen. Okay, you're having a death or a transformation with the number 13 card with the death card with Scorpio energy that came out first. Meaning, look at that, how the sun and the moon are connected in the middle right there. Oh my goodness, has this been telling us the entire time that this whole reading has been about transforming and having deaths and transformations and rebirths and tower moments, okay, shocking moments. Like, just with every single card that came out with the temperance card, the balance, um, the loss of, like, the spark, the magic, the creativity, Every, getting everything back strength power confidence i mean this has been telling us the whole freaking time and finally it has all come together look at this just look at that all right so this is where the abundance is finally going to come in i'm going to say to get the stone jet black um during your transformation to help you with like you know protecting your energy protecting yourself during this um you have transformed into the more beautiful version of you. 222 means you are in alignment. And the tower energy is what I said was going to happen. That you were going to blow up with confidence. And when I say that, the tower card is Scorpio. These are both like Scorpio energy. Are you kidding me? Okay, listen. We have black tourmaline on that card too and jet black. Those are both protection crystals. So I highly suggest getting them right now to protect your energy as it's clearing and rebirthing, okay? The tower card here is saying that, you know, maybe you had hit rock bottom, which is why you went into hermit mode. You lost everything or you just lost your fucking mind. I mean, whichever resonates. Um, and this is how I like to describe, I guess, the tower card. It's the phoenix. The phoenix has many, many deaths, transformations, and rebirths. It dies and it always comes back to life. It is always reincarnated into beauty and strength. But when it does pass away or go through transformation, it is a painful and slow process. Kind of like life and age or crisis and experience or life experiences, lessons and blessings. And this is exactly what has happened here. 2323. 23. So Capricorns, man, have you had a full on freaking transformation or you are about to. And you're about to be like the most powerful reborn Phoenix ever. All right. <clears throat> As I say that you're about to be the most powerful reborn Phoenix, we have this Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And we have... Fucking Ten of Pentacles, hell yeah. Alrighty, so, my goats, after you take your power back and you can think clearly and logically to make decisions, you might be able to be smart enough to make, like, these really smart decisions about money. Um, being dedicated to money. Um, and at the same time, how can I say this? You can, you may want to be your own boss. Like, uh, like entrepreneur type energy you know you want to be in charge of your own life because you know how powerful you are how capable you are male or female okay <clears throat> you can make decisions and you can speak your truth now without any hesitation whatsoever you know that you're loyal to your word you know that you're supportive and there for people <clears throat> and uh this ten of pentacles i mean 
maybe people are going to see what you've ov overcome Capricorn because usually the ten of pentacles is somebody else who's like giving you money whether that be from family whether that be from somebody like okay dogs mean loyalty this could be from someone who's loyal this could be winning money this could be a raise this could be an opportunity this could be kicking over the bucket this could be a lottery ticket like however this resonates with your power you're attracting so much you're attracting like ten of pentacles and I don't know if that means like like a relationship or if that just means right now money but I, right now I'm just getting money right now you're in such a transformation and a healing process like I haven't gotten to love obviously yet I mean, we can see that you are putting the love that you need to in yourself right now, which is absolutely the thing you need to do. So we have this four of wands and we have the moon energy here. <clears throat> All right. Here is that love energy. And why do I say that? I feel like you have a secret admirer. Someone has always kept their eye on you. I don't know why I'm getting that. Someone keeps their eye on you, someone has kept their eye on you, someone always watches you. Especially during moon cycles. Or during moon energy. Dang. Okay, Capricorn, whoever this person is, possible Pisces. Um, man, oh man, okay, they either have been thinking of you so much during moon energies. Okay, the moon energy is like someone else's fears like they fear telling you how they feel but if they did you guys could have all that fun celebration a firm foundation possible marriage um connections that are fiery um fun adventurous i mean the four of wands is also 11 11 and, and all i know is that there is something like some secret stuff happening um Sorry about that. That is an alarm on the other phone that does not even work. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so four of wands and the moon card, man. Something here may be revealed. Somebody's feelings may be revealed. Like someone might have had enough growth to step forward and be like, you know what? I go absolutely fucking bonkers during moon cycles over you. My energy wants to implode and I want to just tell you how I feel and I don't want it to be unknown anymore. I don't want it to be a secret. And wand energy is also someone that could be taking action right now to tell you like they want a, a long-term foundation. Um, they either want to live with you or they want a long-term foundation. Um, I'm sorry, relationship. So not a short-term, long-term. This person has been thinking for a long time. I'm thinking like four years is what I'm getting. If someone's been watching you for four years, man, they've been suffering. <laughs> I hate to look at this. As I say, they've been suffering. <sighs> look at that shit, dude. Are you ready? This person has been suffering, but they're doing it to their self. They're like crying over spilt milk that they don't even need to be crying over because there's still hope on the Five of Cups card always. Two cups that are still always hopeful. Maybe love has disappointed them so much in the past that they just can't make a move. They can't stop the the hanging around, the wait, the hangman card, the waiting energy. Okay, this is someone who, like, cannot make a decision, so they just keep waiting and keep waiting. And like I said, dude, they gotta be hurting if they've waited, like, four fucking years, man. Male or female? Look at that freaking crap. Okay, like, I hate to say it. It's, like, her knee and her butt. Okay, maybe they're just knees. I can't really tell. But, like, okay, they have this person hanging funnier than they do on another card. But look at that energy again. Look at the suns and the moons. And the way that there's, like, the middle here. Like, do y'all see it? The sun and the moon. What is that about? I mean, maybe y'all are like the yin to the yang. This is going to be like somebody who's your, go I don't know if you're coming into union, you're coming into your power manifestation. This is crazy shit, dude. I've never noticed those type of things on the cards. Anyway, this person is in their feels and emotions. And I would be too if I was dwelling over somebody that I love when time right here, time ticks. We, time, we are on such a limited time scale. Health is chasing us. Bad health. And I don't want to put that in anyone's head. That's, you know, a part of this awesome life cycle here. So 
Let's keep going. Six of Swords we have. And we have the Knight of Wands. Hmm. Okay. Your person wants to get away from a certain way that they've been living. And now, again, okay, I said it could be a potential Pisces. But I'm just going to say a potential player. This is just someone who obviously just was younger, had more fun. I don't want to just call someone a player because we've all been in that part of our life where we didn't want a serious relationship. We wanted to play and have fun. And I believe that this person just wanted to, to do that. You know, look how this person is spinning around on on the the curtains and they're like, you know, doing tricks and feeling free. And I mean, wands are taking action, feeling freedom, taking uh, having communication, um, being fiery and you know, again, maybe this person just wanted a lot of relationships, a lot of sexual relationships, um, or they just were very adventurous and they wanted to just live fast, like very fast with a lot of different people. But maybe now because they cannot keep chasing what is not meant for them anymore, which are people who are just not fulfilling them like you can and they know that after four years or four months however this resonates four years four days four months okay look I'm getting four months four day, um four years not four days because four days is like nothing this person you know they want to get away from that energy the energy of not taking action towards you Capricorn this is like them coming towards you like man I'm going towards what makes me fucking happy and I have to get away from the energy of I'm not getting no freaking younger I have to mature. I have to settle down maybe. Because this person, even though they want to have fun and be young forever, we all want that energy. But at the same time, this person is killing their self and their emotions because they want you. Look at this shit. Are you ready? So, yes, your person is like, man, oh man, I constantly, you know, have a lot of options in love. But now I want to make that decision. That decision that is going to be my path that I choose, that's going to be my forever person. Two of Wands energy is making a decision to take action and picking a path. Picking the path that they want to stay on to where they just, you know, have that fun forever, never mature. I mean, and if that's, you know, your decision, Capricorn, like, I'm sorry, not your decision, their decision, then that's their decision. Um, remember that roles can be reversed you could be in this energy as well as like having options right now and trying to figure out what path you would like to take as well as a wish fulfillment as like what to you is going to feel like safe home you know star card energy basically so i'm getting both energies i guess because that definitely came out for a reason so your person's energy and your energy you both are trying to figure out three 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 yep Thank goodness, there's that three right there too. So three, 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 and then this three. That is definite confirmation. You both are trying to figure out what to do with your life right now. In love. In long term. We have... Oh, yes, we do. What do we want to hold on to here? Our let go of, and there is that yang to that yang, or that abundance symbol, or that freaking, what I call it, the never-ending the never ending symbol card. The book. The never-ending story. It doesn't look like it. I know I ain't crazy. But anyway, we got the Knight of Cups coming out here. And we have this Four of Pentacles. Again, water energy. Now, I'm just going to say it. You can obviously see that Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios, that balloon in the back, Some they, they come in with this loving but devilish tendency, okay? And what I mean by that is they give off so much love and they want to receive that much back that sometimes they give off this obsessive addictive impulsive look at what is up there in the corner of that okay confirmation for real they give off like the devilish i know you want me i know i can sue you with sweet words energy like how, when i say that their temptation they okay are water signs for a fucking reason they swoo you they come in with these words that just whisper in your ear sweet nothings all day long 
um, but they can get into your head and your emotions and your feels. And this person, you know, I think that, you know, again, could be a potential water sign, Pisces energy again. And what do I see here? This person's holding on to you, Capricorn, with this four of pentacles, or they're holding on to this very tightly. They're not trying to let this connection go. They're not acting on it though either yet. Like they have not acted yet. But yes, it is a water sign. So much confirmation that it is one. This person does have love for you, but do they have like them devilish tendencies? Like, I know I look good. I know my eyes are cute. My hair is pretty, you know, boy or girl. Okay. Like, I'm going to get what I want type of energy. Remember, they're a knight. Okay. We have two knight energies. Okay. Very loving, very young, could be very, mm, I want to do what I want. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. But there's still that I'm holding on to Capricorn. I'm holding on and I don't know why. I need, I like I have these devilish tendencies and can stay in this energy forever. And I am, you know, a water sign and I don't fall for people like that. I mean, I fall for people, but they're like the ones that have the illusions and the delusions. Okay. They're always in this naivete thinking that nothing can ever harm them or break their heart. And Capricorn, I guarantee that you may be one of those people that can do that because you're a very serious sign. All I'm going to say is they will always be a great listener, a great soulmate, a good partner, but you have to be careful if it is a Pisces. Um, if it's a Pisces, that person can be an opposite for you, but if it is a Scorpio, could be a good option for you. And a Cancer. Yens just might be a little bit wild and have to control your wilder instincts together. <laughs> All right, so top and the bottom I have pulled, and that is awesome. How cool was my slick shit? Okay, I went like this and pulled them together like, what? Yes, queen. <laughs> okay, I just had to show y'all. And the, um, I might close it out soon now because we have the nine of cups coming out with that chariot energy. Excuse me? Is there not enough butterflies on there to tell you that maybe this person wished for you or you wished for them or both? Vice versa. Look at the matching energies in the corners of those two cards. Look at them fishies. There's that love. There's that love. Um, so nine of cups again, water energy, bunch of transformations and rebirths and deaths. And I am not going to lie. I have been seeing butterflies and moths everywhere outside too. So I will take that as another confirmation. Okay. And so will you guys. But seriously, come on, the Nine of Cups came out with the Chariot card. And then look at the top of that moon cycle again. Look at this Chariot card. Look at all this stuff. All of this growth that is in what I would call either, I want to call it an orb, but I think it's a, uh, a barrel, a jug of water barrel. You're carrying like all of this healing maybe in this barrel, all this growth, all these tools, all this wisdom and guidance. And like you're like this camel that's got the compass to lead the way, you know the pillow for comfort, all the tools of the magician card right here, everything that you need, f you know, to feed yourself for growth, for, for clarity, for healing, for synchronicities. You even have this duck energy. I cannot remember what the duck energy is. If I have the, uh, the bird deck by me, then I will grab it. But if I don't, then you're going to have to Google it. Um, but for the bird oracle deck, duck energy, it's actually really good luck. Oh, I might have to grab that deck now, guys, or try to grab the book at least. I'll grab the book. I think I see the book by me. Um, but I don't have the deck by me, and I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not moving. <laughs> so, with that being said, no more waiting. The universe is telling you you do not have to wait any longer. The chariot card is like, okay, the path has been chosen on which road to go down, that two of wands for both of you, and you are each other's wish fulfillment here. So there is going to be love. There is going to be healing. There's going to be a lot going on in your life next, Capricorn. It's going to involve, at first, very painful tower moments and rebirths. But then it's going to pay off big. Bigger than big. You know, and like this person definitely loves you. Let's get these last two here. What is? What are these lovely things? Oh, here it is. I mean, if that is not clarification, Queen of Cups, that's like the counterpart of the day. That's you, Capricorn. You are in this beautiful Queen of Cups energy because you're healing. And Capricorn, this is your reading. So what are you getting here? Your third eye, like I said, is wide the fuck open. 
clarity of confidence look at this sword that is like going through like the sacral chakra like it's opening up and popping that fucking balloon of confidence to make that stardust that that pixie dust the uh what is her name from peter pan tinkerbell's flipping magic energy is about to blow look at the yellow that is everywhere in that card look at this energy if that does not say something to you capricorn i don't know what does this is the clarity and the confidence and this is a major arcana and a new beginning in your your logic your ability your stability your your clarity your mental decisions the way that you can make them with confidence and clarity and clearness this is speaking your truth living your truth feeling your truth seeing the truth through your third eye, through your solar plexus, reading your intuition so fucking well. And look how highly intuitive you will even be because the, one of the most intuitive signs there are, okay, are you ready for who number one is? A Pisces. Pisces is the number one most intuitive sign there is because they are ruled by Neptune, I think. And they are, I want to say, 23, 24, or 29 planets away from the sun or however that resonates they're so much farther away from the sun that that is why they are not serious they're like in that i'm so far into the stars and the stardust energy that all i am is full of love and light like that is that type of an energy that's what you're about to be in though capricorn you're about to be in the queen of cups energy male or female this is healing energy intuitive energy compassionate empathetic being there for people motherly nurturing absolutely amazing but always pouring into yourself first so that you have love for others always so again pisces cancer square for energy and that is going to attract things too you're healing that's healing energy not just for yourself you don't just heal yourself you heal others look at you reading and healing and making sure that you journal but at the same time educating yourself to help others with their healing process you know being a genius thinking learning 41 41 do i want to read anymore nah i'm good i'm done i'm closing it out I'm going to just get you guys a little clarification. We'll do what we've been doing. Uh, no, we don't. I'm going to grab pink because I saw pink. What are you? Peace. Is it not that same bitch in the fucking tub? Let's look at this. <laughs> look at this. Peace and love, man finding inner peace okay number 26 we have here this is amazing this is self-love this is this is just amazing energy look at this she's already in the tub like come on guys if that's not what i call a synchronicity i don't know what the hell is that's finding that balance that self-love that you need psychic connection i'm sorry connections conversations okay either way same damn thing look at that fucking eye again third eye open look at this yellow energy again you are connecting with someone and if i ever said that you connected with anyone ever capricorn it would be an earth sign or a pisces because look at this virgo energy like meditating and contemplating but in a field of beautiful dandelions um wildflowers that are yellow i mean something to help that confidence and open up what you can see the truth that you can see or maybe yins really can connect like you can feel each other's energy and connection through through the psyche, through the knowledge, through the third eye, through the crown, through the confidence. This is crazy. It has to be a fucking water sign, Capricorn. Um, Where's the other pink card that I freaking saw? All right, it doesn't have to be pink, but man, if there ain't any other freaking thing that I need to say about tubs, I don't know. <laughs> Does someone need like some self-love here? Um, The goddess has come out, okay? It's not a pink card. It's a purple one, but I'll take it. Like what? The synchronicities are, synchronicities are real. Look at the flowers that are everywhere that come out in every single card. Flowers and crystals are an asset to you right now. So are probably pink Himalayan salt. I keep seeing like pink bubble bath, pink, pink, pink in the tub. And then look at this confidence, this crown of confidence that she's wearing. Like it's the only yellow in this entire flipping picture, okay? The only yellow and orange did i not say yellow and orange to open up that passion and confidence that that charisma that's sexy to get yourself back oh my goodness i'm sorry but you gotta pour into you to be that badass you um where's the pink 
bam if that's not the hermit card and everything above number 18 is an amazing number so we have look i'm gonna pull this card because i see a number one give me it give me that freaking one maybe because it went back in it's saying no so i'm gonna say no and i'm gonna pull the 10 that i see what's this 10 then i love it friendship is coming in very amazing loving energy you guys did get 10 10 on the clock in the beginning I feel like you're going to meditate and contemplate and you're going to attract, you know, soul tribe energy, soul sister, soul brother, however that resonates here. Um, but yeah, I just want to read off your numbers real quick for you. So we have 26, 29, 32, 18, and 10. Um, remember, start off with the lowest number first if you're going to go play that lottery. But yes, you have a lot of beautiful, beautiful friendships coming in that are going to feel meant to be in union soulmates connection soul family you can be yourself around these people you're at peace capricorn i'm gonna pull this eight here because it's just sticking out so likely here emotional release oh my goodness okay do you see the rain coming down this is definitely the card that okay maybe capricorn while you're in that tub one of them three baths okay how about we just have an emotional release okay and then the next one you know you'll feel even more confident you'll feel better you'll feel lighter you'll feel like you released the burdens that were never yours to carry so give yourself a good cry or give your look an emotionally release does not just mean a cry okay it could mean like you just need that bath of cleansing and clearing to get the negative energy out of your body and out of your soul and to give yourself some more love an emotional release is everything it could be sticking your feet in the ground after it rains um on the ground after it rains to ground yourself an emotional release like it being healed by mother nature um because it had just rained again it involves water water is such an amazing manifestation or a release or a cleansing thing to use um especially if you are an empath a highly sensitive being and that is your reading. I can pull one more card for you guys because there is another deck by me. And then I'm going to pull that interpretation for the deck for you. We have humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. How convenient is that, Capricorn? And then we have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Amazing energy, Capricorn. Amazing little reading. Let me just clear out this energy real quick. And then I'm going to get the book because I'm, you know, all up in my field having a great old time. Okay. I mean, I feel better now that I did tarot, so I, I send my love and light to y'all. Hopefully I get out of the funk sooner than later, you know? Duck, duck, D D D D D. what number? The duck is page 38. I'm just, I'll be able to show you the picture through this as well, since I don't have him with us right now. But there is the duck energy that we saw on that card. Um, and it says, childlike love. Oh my goodness. I'm done. 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 If anyone has listened to me at all through this fucking reading, the first freaking bit of your energy was to tap into the childlike love the childlike of yourself and it says observe yourself in the glow of your radiant soul your childlike soul let's read this i'm gonna shit a brick because are you ready for what it fucking says if you want to pause it and read it yourself have fun bam okay this is absolutely insane what it says i'm i'm, I'm in shock because i can already see the one sentence the meaning of this card the duck waddles, waddles, sorry, waddles into your life with its colorful feathers to remind you of the magic and beauty of your childhood days, of the love of familiar people who held and nurtured you, took you by the hand, comforted and guided you, but also of childhood hurts, humiliations and fears. It's time to let go of old beliefs and let the true brilliance of your soul shine forth see the pure light of your heart and ask yourself what do you love about yourself what is great about you praise yourself for all that you have mastered and accomplished stand up for yourself and actively shape your life it says magic feathers 
dress in a gray water repellent warming. I don't know what the hell that is. It's just some advice about some feathers or whatever, I guess. It, the affirmation, though, let's read that. I trust in myself. I believe in myself. I am unique and brilliant. I am wonderful just the way I am. So cute. Peace and love. 11, 11, 10, 10, 41, 41. I don't remember the rest. 3, 3, 3. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.